Hey, what's going on? Hope you're having a shit one. We're gonna go out and do some exercise today. We're still in lockdown, but we are allowed to go out for one hour of exercise, as long as it's in five kilometers of your house. And uh, I'm gonna count riding an electric scooter as exercise, because when you start the electric scooter, you have to push it, because it's like a kickstart, and I would count that as a physical activity. <laughs> Okay, this is the spot. It doesn't look too appealing. It doesn't look like much of a photo location actually at all. Uh, and, and you're right, it's not really a photo location. It's actually the side of a train track. But what really is a photo location? I feel like anything can be a photo location. But because I'm trying to stay out of trouble and I don't really want to go into the city or anything like that, we, we've just come here, which is just like a train line near my house. And, uh, and trains make for great long exposures. What I was thinking for the shot is that if I stand right here on this bit of grass in front of the camera and then a train comes from behind me and then sort of lights up kind of like backlights me i guess and then sort of i'm in frame and then the train is in frame <laughs> that's why i'm wearing my trusty yellow jacket because it's nice and contrasty for the photo and then i'm going to stand in the frame we're going to focus the camera onto me by using this light this is actually a pro photo light that pro photo actually gave me which is really nice of them. I'm gonna put this down on the ground. I'm gonna set that to my camera's focus so I know where to stand for the shot so I'll be perfectly in focus for the photo I'm trying to take. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. Cause I can't be fucked explaining that again. I'm gonna try and take a couple of test shots. I'm gonna put this down right here. I'm gonna focus the camera onto that light. Oh shit, there's a train. Okay, the first shot here. It's not that bad, like, it's bad, but it's not that bad. I look, <laughs> I don't even know. There's a lot of bad words that I look like. Let's just call myself, let's just say I look like an idiot. Okay, that's probably the most appropriate word to use. But I had envisioned for this shot that I was a lot smaller in the frame. So I wasn't taking up half the image. So I think I'm gonna try and bring my camera back a little bit more or as much as I can here. And then I'm gonna try and stand as far away as possible. But I should definitely check the train times. That's what I need to do, because I was not ready for that fucking train. Alright, hopefully I got something there. Please tell me I got something there. Oh, damn it! This is so hard to do by yourself. This is so hard. So, the last two shots that we've done, first of all, I haven't been prepared because I... I keep forgetting when the train's gonna come. Um, and then second of all, I keep forgetting my position because I, I was being an idiot. I kept taking away the light that I needed. Um, that's that's like it's supposed to be a guide. So you turn it on and then you focus it onto the light and then you're supposed to turn it off and leave it there and then stand over it. And that's your, that's your focus point. That's your point of interest, right? Now I think I've warmed up. I've taken a couple shots and I think this next one we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I feel like I was a bit stiff. Oh, <laughs> no way, they're fucking sick. Focus, focus, yeah, baby. Yeah, we got it. We got it, baby. I did it all by myself. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, it's fucking sick. I've got another hour. Let's try and take another photo. I made a video a little while ago with Travis and we like zigzagged him down this road somewhere really dark and it made this really cool effect. We can do the same, but with the scooter. Okay, this is a spot right here. Nice little bend, really quiet street as well. I think in my entire lifetime of living here, I've seen like three cars drive down this street. Um, let's set up the tripod. We're gonna do a 30 second long exposure and see what happens. And then we're gonna zigzag on the scooter here with the, with the lights on. Okay, four cars I've ever seen in my life. All right, here we go. This is attempt number one. We're gonna see what happens. Also, here's a little tip in case you didn't know. The reason why it doesn't pick up me on the ride back, like if I'm riding in the frame, when you do a long exposure on your camera, your shutter opens for a long period of time and it just needs light to come into that image for things to move. 
So that's why, you know, long exposures of cars, buses, trains, phones, anything that emits a light, it will pick up, is the, is the easiest way I can explain it. And also, if you're moving fast enough, if you're moving slow enough, with a slow shutter, you will be picked up. If you have a long shutter, and you're moving quite quickly, and you're not staying still, it won't pick you up. But that's something for you to play around with. You'll figure it out. Okay, let's have a look at this photo. Fucking shit. <laughs> um, yeah, that's terrible. Two problems with the image. First of all, I don't think the camera is high enough up. It needs to be higher than the light source of whatever it is that I'm shooting. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna fully extend my tripod up and shoot sort of on a downward angle a little bit so I can get the lines. And also, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that good of a light trail because there's heaps of other lights here that are interfering with the shot and making the shot a lot brighter than it needs to be. I actually took this shot a while back with the scooter. It was in a really dark place and it worked out fucking perfectly. Um, I think I only have like 10 minutes left before I need to go back home because of the lockdown. So I'm gonna try this one last time. If it doesn't work out this next way, we'll, we'll, we'll revisit the idea for another time. <laughs> So this was the photo that I ended up getting before I had to go home. I wish the lockdown was at 9pm. <laughs> That's all I can say. Because I need it to be dark to take these kind of photos. It gets dark at like 6 o'clock and when you set up, by the time you set up your tripod and your camera and stuff, an hour has already gone past. And then, I don't know, it only gives me another hour to try another photo. Uh, and I hate rushing, I hate having to rush for photos and stuff like that. Because you never take a good photo when you're rushing. Anyway, whatever. This was the photo we ended up getting. It's a 30 second long exposure, shot on F10, ISO 100. I think it needs a graduated filter from the, from the top here. That was before, that's after. What this image needs, first of all, it needs a different location. I think this would work better in a narrow location through a tunnel. So I think I wanna make another video trying that out. Um, there's too much negative space at the top here uh, with the bridge. The bridge is just an eyesore <laughs> in the image, if I'm honest. And I think it needs a subject in the middle here. I think I would have liked to try that with me standing there and then try to merge those two images together. As for the other image here, yeah, I tried a few different presets here. I tried like Storm and I think that like, it was kind of cool. I didn't think it was working. I tried Soft Fade, still didn't think it was quite working. And then I put on, this is fucking illegal. It's probably one of my favorite night presets. It just works really well. And then changing the colors a little bit, graduated a filter from the sky to darken the sky a bit. I put a radial filter over the center of me uh, to bring some more subject focus in. And I also brushed the side of the train here to sort of split the colors apart from the blue to the orange. My whole life is just teal and orange. I'm just a fucking joke. That's every photo I take is just teal and orange. For something that's not a photo location, <laughs> uh, I'm actually really happy with that image. You know, you know what would be cool? If I spent more time on it, Photoshopping an entire city in the background, like some some Japanese shit in the background. That would be cool, but I can't be fucked. <laughs> if you want to download my presets, you can head over to streamline.store or you can click the link in my description there. That'll take you there. They come with 25 presets in a pack, plus 25 tutorials that show you how to use the preset. And then they also have 25 of my raw files there for you to play around with and do whatever you want with. You know, I actually applied for a work permit because of the lockdown that we have here in Melbourne at the moment. I now have a work permit which means I should be able to go out and take photos now uh, and do my job. Fat gray area, but whatever. <laughs> if it works, it works. I think it would be really interesting as well since uh, the streets are gonna be really empty. I got given this 50 mil 0.95 from, from these guys, TT Art, Artson, Artson? I don't, know. I don't know how to say it. It's a 0.95 lens, which is really interesting. So I'm keen to try that out. So you can expect some of those videos from me pretty soon. But apart from that, if you did like this video, leave a like down below. Help me out by hitting subscribe. With that all said and done, have a shit one, and I'll see you in the next one.